Watch as I turn this mess of a linen closet into something that's both beautiful and functional. Nope, this definitely will not do. I start by completely removing everything out of the closet. Then to remove the wire shelves, I use a flathead screwdriver to pry the nails and drywall anchors out of the fasteners holding the bar supports up and then remove them gently by caref being careful to pull straight out of the wall so it doesn't leave too big of a hole. You may need to use pliers to twist the nails out to make it easier. Next, I'm using DAP patch and paint to fill all the holes in the wall. Let that dry, sand down, and then painted the entire wall with white linen chalk paint. I used a painting technique that gave texture and an almost concrete look. For my materials, I bought four 1x12 pine boards that were four feet long four 1x2 pine furring strips that were 8 feet long. You will need to measure your closet, but for mine, it was 40 and a half inches wide. So for my shelf supports, I needed to use my miter saw to cut the back 1x2s to 40 and a half inches, and the two side supports to 11 inches. I then used my jigsaw to trim off 7 and a half inches off my 1x12 boards, then I sanded everything down with my orbital sander. To install my shelf supports or cleats, I find my studs and mark them. I used two and a half inches screws to adhere the back cleats into the wall. However, there weren't studs on the side of my closet that matched the length of my side supports. So I first put in drywall anchors and then used the same screws to adhere the side supports. After my supports were all in, I just laid my 1x12 shelf support on top shelf on the top and used my 18 gauge brad nailer to put two inch nails all around the back and the side of the shelf. Then just repeat those steps for two or three more shelves depending on your preference. I added three more to be able to fit all my containers in. I bought four of these cute clear tubs from Target with white polka dots on them. They hold a ton and they're only $7 each. For the labels, I just printed them onto computer paper and adhered with clear contact paper. Super easy. And here's the final product. I used 11 by 11 fabric totes from Amazon and made labels out of wooden squares, wooden beads, and twine. Thank you so much for watching.